Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of The Talk. Oh, my God. Summer is over. It's September. And we're back on The Talk. Summer hiatus is over. My name is Wellington Gomez, your host. And I'm here with my other co-host. Hi, Edward. What it do, baby? How we doing, listeners? Hi, Kevin. The trade is here. Hey, (laughs) (laughs) y'all. Oh, my God. I'm so excited to be back on The Pod, guys. Me too. It's been a while. I feel like once we hit the chat, we started to get to cooking. I'm like, it's kind of like going back to school, but uh-huh. I'm excited. It's senior year. I'm really excited to see what the heck <laughs> we're going to do and give it to the girls. Well, summer hiatus is over. We have three September, October, November, December, four more months of this season. And then, wow, season two of the of, of the talk is over. After Womp. December. For a Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Will it get picked up? We'll see. <laughs> um, <laughs> so what brings us here today? Drag Race UK. Ver- I was about to say versus the world. Drag Race UK season five. Meet the Queens is out. And we got some new queens to me. And got I just some new bitches. To- yeah, some new bitches. Um, we're going to look at the looks and you know give our critiques of the looks and what we think for their promo looks um and we know we don't really much we don't really know much of them of course but just first impressions what do you think the queen is giving etc etc exciting um do you guys have the document up yeah just so that just so that you can look just so that you can look at the um you can see the looks Season five of Drag Race UK. Wow. I don't think anything will ever top season two um, with Tace, Ohora, Lawrence Cheney. I feel like every time there's a UK season, I'm always relating it back to that one because that was like the the high mark of Drag Race UK. I have high hopes with these because these girls look kind of funny and they look camp, but they have big shoes to look up to. I agree with you too. I think that season two of Drag Race UK is iconic season i think it's top five seasons of any drag race like put together that yeah. season was so good um i never ha- haven't seen one that equals that much stardom but i'm eager with season five um but i don't know first impressions i'm I don't, i'm not living but we'll get into it so first things first we have ginger johnson seven chops Seven chops. Eight, actually. She looks funny. Like, she looks like she's funny. She looks like she could host. She looks like she's a good time gal. Um, The look, I'm just not... It's very, like, one note since it's one color. There's no breakdown. There's no belt. There's there's no, like, really real story about it. I mean, mm-hmm. it's a regret for me, cause, but she looks like a funny good time gal. You know who she looks like? Um, Brita Filter. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is shade. She does look like her. No, like look at her. She's even like having like the little Brita pose. She gets New York. She gets New York, New York, New York. Like She's, it's a chop for me. It's it's a it's a regret. I'm not wet whatsoever. Seven chops. Edward, any thoughts? <laughs> Hello, is this thing on? I can't hear you're muted. You muted me. No, I didn't. It said host muted you. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> um, I feel like it's a very pedestrian look. It's whatever for the bars. But the name Ginger automatically takes me to Ginger Minge. So she better be a comedy queen. She better give with the name Ginger. Anyways, moving on, we have Vicky Vivacious. And... Oh my god, he's so ugly. Like, right off the bat, I'm so sorry. Her makeup, like, she looks, it's giving very first time in drag tease. It's giving very, like, I'm letting my drag mother hand me this down. I'm aware. It's giving very. Okay, bitch, but the makeup? You know what? I was, I look, he liked this look. So I'm very surprised by um no. your opinion. Yeah, I like this look. Good. I think that. I think that is giving like um 
It's cute. It's giving like um burlesque. Like, making May West. Um, I like I like I like the ostrich feathers. That's what they those are, right? Those are like chicken feathers, probably. I mean, hope it's ostrich ch- feathers, <laughs> right? No, um, it looks good. I think it looks cute. I think she looks cute, and I like the little post for her little cast photo. I hate it. Agreed. Regret. It's a what for me. It's a what for me. Um, but your name is Vicky Vivacious. Like I'm, I'm really, I'm really expecting personality. I'm expecting comedy. I'm expecting loudness because if your name is Vivacious, like you know, like I feel like when it comes to drag queens' names, the adjectives that some of them use in their names, like it has to match who you are as a as a character in drag. So I'm just expecting a lot, Vivacious. Yes, also because there's a I, queen vivacious, like there's a yeah. queen. So like, right. girl, you better bring it, bitch. She's the mother of New York. I like that. Like, I want to kind of guess what's their storyline gonna be. Like for me, what I'm getting from her is that she really First wants out. to be like very like clean and polished, but she's struggling because she can't do the comedy <laughs> challenges and like really get Rue's attention. You know, you what better give that, her a storyline. What was that queen? What was that queen that she was on season two and then got eliminated and came back? Shangela. No, 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 on, on UK. Oh, Veronica Green. Veronica Green. She, she gives me Veronica. <laughs> COVID, COVID, no taste. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on. We have Caramel. She's kind. This bitch is kind. <laughs> she is so kind. Like, I'm sorry. This entrance look, I'm not entrance look, this promo look is kind. Maybe it's I'm missing giving. It. It's, it's giving. It's spectacular. From yeah, the neck it's... up, from the neck up, it's fire. I think everything else is a good idea. I'm not crazy about the execution. Wow. What they the look fuck? Just very, you know what? And we're going to revert back. So if you haven't watched our last season, make sure to tune in. But you know Candy's finale three look? That it was kind of like that like top piece, the panties. Mm-hmm. And she, like this is what this is giving me. I like that she painted the body or whatever is under, but it's not all the way wet. It's not all the way like black. It's like a four point nine. I disagree. I, I think it's a moment. Like with the melted gold, how it creates like body pieces. Mm-hmm. I think it. I think especially with the hair, it's giving very Halle Berry and Catwoman mm-hmm. tees. It's giving very like strong. It's giving very. I've never mm-hmm. seen personally like a melted gold bodysuit onto like anything like this it's innovative i think it's fucking hot she's also looking sexy if she could on my tricks i give it a fucking wet no it's i'm definitely wet too i was gonna say the same thing it's giving catwoman is giving um vixen is giving like yeah. it's just giving like cunt superhero about to cunt superhero over also the world. Like, or also like cunt villain like super villain you know yeah. like it's just giving cuntness enchantress and <laughs> exactly <laughs> If you're watching on YouTube, yeah. You're getting the full story. You're getting the full story. Make sure you're watching on YouTube. Um, but yeah, Caramel. And I love the name, Caramel. She's um, from Atlanta. She's from Atlanta. Okay, girl. She's from Atlanta, Georgia. She all the way in the uh, UK. Yeah. So and you know, we love Atlanta. So I'm rooting no. for my girl. The we doors Lala the- Reed has opened. The doors Lala <laughs> Reed has opened. Okay. Don't let that don't let that pass. <laughs> let that be mentioned. <laughs> okay, moving on. We have Alexa St. P. No, hold on. Because why? I just look at the document expecting it to move. I'm like, <laughs> where's Alexa St. P? Blonde and white. Ooh. Um, it's giving Lady Camden. It it's giving Lady Candom, Lady Candom and Aquaria have a daughter, but it's not giving original. I feel like we've seen this look on like eight hundred queens. I feel like it's giving very Spite. like I, I've I grew up watching Drag Race, so I'm gonna replicate what the queens are doing. It's not giving original to me. I feel like I've seen this look on like eighteen different girls during the Work the World tour. I feel like it's giving very like that's actually what know, they have I, on stage right now. Yeah, like it's not giving special. I feel like. I've, I, it's giving like 800 queens and I, I like you know like like Naomi Small says during the All-Stars 4 blonde and white it's just not good <laughs> listen from first impressions and not much not much to go 
to go from. Um, I like the outfit. I think it's cute. Do I think you can buy this outfit in, in its entirety from like a, a website? Yes. Um, so when you do things like that, when you actually buy an outfit from a website and you wear it for like a promo look, you have to like, you have to give in it. You have to be able to pose in a way that just makes it look unique. And I feel like the pose is a little, is a little basic shy. for me. Yeah, very shy and very basic for me, especially with such a low. Like, cause look, look at the look at that that thing that's hanging from her, from her arms that is connected to like the back of her dress. Like, that's a moment right there. Like, she could have given me like, you know, different level. Like. It was yeah. there's just more to be given with your outfit that you bought online. So for no. me, it's nine chops. I like it off um straight looks. I think off storyline. I think she's just I'm gonna she's gonna get lost unless she has a very epic moment in one of the challenges. So for the outfit and to give her no fuck it. Actually, I'm gonna give it a fucking no. Because if I'm gonna hold caramel to the standard, I'm gonna hold this bitch too. Thank you. What is this? This Alexis is um, P. Alexis St. P. Yeah. We'll see what she has with her person. I will say though, I do like that wig. I think it's the cute. wig is cute. I I the first look is cute. just Mm. <laughs> it's getting cloudy in Brooklyn. So moving on, we have the delicious, and I really love this look. I from think... the House of Versace. House of Versace. She is Crystal Versace, season three of Dragons UK's winners mm -hmm. sister. If you wa I watched her like little doc mock documentary on uh, Wow Present. Keeping up with, with Crystal Versace. It was cunt, and Didi's cunt too. And Didi actually made a lot of Crystal's outfits on her original season. Mm. So this bitch knows how to sew. This bitch knows how to look. I feel like you can kind of get the, the Versace-esque look in the eyes and how like they all look kind of like Raven. I'm excited. This bitch is cunt. The outfit is cunt. I'm living. No, she looks really good. I really like the makeup. Um, I like the color. I like how this looks on camera. Oh, yeah. Um, the color of it. I love the hair, the pose. I love everything. She looks really, really good. Put together, very put together. Very put together, very put together. Um, definitely a wet. A it's wet. a wet for me. I feel like she'll. I, it's one of the best I've seen so far. Out of yeah, so far she's definitely number one. Definitely number one. Oh yeah. Um. Okay. Moving on, we have Michael Maruli. I I, I don't know if I'm saying this right, but Michael Maruli. Is this a Serena? Is this the Serena Chacha of the season? <laughs> I feel like she's gonna give like Rita, Rita um, Baga here, barely. <laughs> she's still alive, but she's barely breathing. Listen, everybody, um, bear with our sister. The Brooklyn headquarters, you know, Brooklyn headquarters. It's flooding. Like, so sometimes the bills, the bills don't get paid at the Brooklyn headquarters. So we're gonna just, we're gonna, we're gonna go with what we have okay so you might you might see my sister lagging a little bit you might see her a little blurry you hold on. She, hold on. she might have very late reactions but that's on oh, <laughs> it's not working reactions <laughs> her reactions are still in season one we're in season five no literally like her reaction <laughs> Try to keep up, honey. Try to keep up. Okay. I'm really um, excited to see what Ginger brings this season. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Michael Maruli um is giving Sasha, is giving Serena Sasha. It's giving like Rita Baga, like very like she's an older ingenue. Like she she's gonna go in like, oh, I know this game. I've been in the game for 30 years. I'm gonna school these children. Oh, it's giving really a, a dated outfit, the green, the metallic fabric just pulls very cheap it doesn't pull very expensive or very very elegant i don't know i'm kind of bored already from her i feel like <laughs> I, I hate when a queen does the mouth open in the promo Hello. Like it. oh my god the hair is cool said. edward edward sister
It says the 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 t the your phone's Wi-Fi is not working. The hotspot is not working. <laughs> she's so, I love her because she's so like she's still smiling. She's like <laughs> she's like trying to figure it out with a smile because she's on air, honey. She's she's such a host. Um but yeah, I'm not living for this. I think that she again, she's giving Serena Shasha and the stands, the color, everything is just giving Serena Shasha to me. Um, I don't know, I'm intrigued, but not really. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I mean, the outfit is not the worst out of all of the ones that we've seen. Um, but I think this would have been a great entrance look, not a promo look. I feel like the promo look, she could have yeah. gone more grand and she could have came in with this and that would have been a strong entrance look. But for it to be the promo look, it's a little like, I'm a little underwhelmed. It looks like a lipstick assassin outfit, like when they change for their lip sync. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, not too hot with it. Well, if you thought it could get any worse, we have Kate Butch. Yo, this bitch's outfit and makeup is abysmal. Horrible. It looks very UK drag. It Horrible. Looks like it looks very down under drag. It looks very like not polished. Why would she wear baggy. all of this draping? Like, what is what is all of this fabric? I feel like she has to hit this post because if not, the outfit will look even worse. It, the makeup's like, not blended. It's she could definitely take. I don't know if she's an older queen, but she could definitely take tips from like the younger queens, like Dee Dee and Caramel, just to kind of blend a bit. I like how she matched the nails with the outfit. That's the only thing I like. Everything yeah, else but is a, a flop. The outfit is such a flop. I feel like the pants are way too floppy. Um, the symmetry of this outfit is also very bad in the sense of like there is this random like um overlay on the hip area and then we have the big sleeve and the puffer shoulder and then the sleeve that goes all the way it, it's just a mess it's just a mess and then it's not fitting because even if you look at her torso area look how it look how it wrinkles right there right under the boob it's it a design challenge like she made it in a design challenge it, it's giving design challenge yeah yeah this is a chop for this is 10 chops i'm sorry you you get 10 like it's, a, it's no, a regret it's a regret for sure it's a regret for sure um moving on to banksy is that how you say it yeah i mean it's it's cute i it's kind of like like religious kind of tease like with the the jesus yeah with the jesus, cross. Uh, yeah um it's cute i feel like she's gonna give like that spooky yuki fashion girl this season um i'm not really that impressed it's just a dress like it's it's, it's just really a dress. I feel like the hair is so pedestrian. Yeah. When you already have when you're giving when when you're when you're gonna wear a dress that's like gownish, so automatically it's going is going to be very pedestrian because gowns are pedestrian. It's the way you wear a gown. So if you if you're gonna have a pedestrian ass gown, you cannot wear that 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 basic sleepy hair. Like what is that with them with them weak little curls it's giving scarlet envy season 11 promo when she just wore that long dress and she hit that pose it's giving very that again it's a regret for me i feel like it's very boring it's just a red dress yeah it's just a red dress and if you're the dress. fashion queen of the season like let's give us a little bit more like and i also feel contact. like she she could have done more with the makeup um there's so many ways that she could have overcompensated for the fact of just wearing a basic dress and she didn't so seven chops um moving forward we have tamara thomas this is iconic this is groundbreaking this is everything i think this queen is one so fucking beautiful in the face i love the pose yep. she's giving like throwback to like taste and a horror like yep. it's it's amazing the fact that she could wear a plain leg with no stocking is iconic she she's just giving it to me already and she's my winner she's yeah my she's definitely She's definitely one to watch. Um, the pose is giving. Iconic. She's work. She's working the camera. I'm interested in whatever she's wearing. It's cute. I like how it's like a little like you know. I'm a gift in a way. Like it's a sexy gift wrap. Like I don't know. Like it just looks cute. Um, she looks cunt. The makeup is sickening. I love that hair pulled back. Hair's amazing. Um, it just everything. The pose. The nails. Like I love the shoes. 
sickening, 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 sickening. It's a wrap. It's definitely a wrap. And I'm guessing she's the one to watch. Um, and then we have Ms. Naomi Carter. I really hate this. <laughs> uh, I hate I hate the pose. I hate when queens do their pictures with their mouths open. I think it's distracting from the actual garment. The hair is okay with the Mickey Mouse little little things in the hair. Mm. I kind of like how the the jacket turns into bags. I just I just can't get with it. And for only ten queens on the season, like every look kind of has to be iconic. And I feel like with this, it's kind of. I hate the 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 yellow and green color scheme. It's it's a it's a flop. It's a it's a regret. I I feel like there's potential. I feel like this jacket does not go with this bodysuit that she's wearing. I feel like she just put it together because they were the same color scheme. But I, I feel that. like that does not go together. Um, the hair I can I always appreciate a cultural moment, but it doesn't give with what you're presenting. Like it just doesn't make sense to me. Um cohesive to you yeah like it's just it, i don't know like miss naomi carter like i'm really gonna i'm really gonna expect more it's six chops today and it's a regret <laughs> so i definitely want to hit upon something because you know i'm the reddit girl of the pod um of so basically there was 12 queens on the season hence why everyone's like why is there 10 queens why is there 10 queens mm -hmm. allegedly one dropped like last second Second one is, so there's actually 11 queens in the season, but they only promo for 10 because the queen, her name is Crystal Lubricant, not to give too much on her name. Ooh. She she sherry pied and she's had cases of sexual assault. So she gets eliminated throughout the season because of her allegations. So they kind of were able to catch it faster than season 12. There was sherry where they kind of like had to do the re-edit like last second. They've had time mm -hmm. to re-edit her. So we will see Crystal. We will see her in the in the show. There it's very, very minimal. From what the mm -hmm. tea is, I heard that she doesn't go that far anyway. So it doesn't like it doesn't it's not where a Sherry Pie where that bitch was in top four. It's right. hard to fucking go around that where this bitch is another fucking Serena Cha Cha. Right. So yeah, like it's <laughs> Because it, it, it kind of gagged me. I was like, yo, only 10 queens. And then I lit up on the spoilers and the and the Reddit girls. And like, one dropped, one is um, a fucking criminal. Jeffrey Bezos, whatever it's called. Um, That's my tea, my from Reddit. Thank you for that Reddit tea, Kevin. Um, I just cannot believe that Drag Race casting is having issues with this. Like, after Sherry Pie, I should have learned. There's, there, needs to be, there needs to be a very well thought out vetting process that you're putting these queens as you're casting them um and i'm <laughs> and i'm sure that i'm sure that you know some things you you can't catch everything but oh lord i'm just excited to see like i cannot wait to see how this turns out like yo like this is the uk's like you know i feel like every every drag race world has their own little scandal and this is it yeah. i'm like I'm just also excited to see, like, shout out to the producers and the editors to really, like, work around not showcasing such a shitty queen. But I hope they're still able to give the spotlight to the girls um, who deserve it, who put in the work. Because, like, it fucking sucks. Like, even with season 12, imagine, like, your season being overshadowed by, oh, that's the COVID season. Oh, that's the Sherry Pie season. Right. That's right. not the season that Jade Essence Hall won. Right. So right, there's like so was... like the drama sometimes overpowers 100%. things that happen in the season, and that's not fair to the girls that gave her their all and just you know came into the season to work. Yeah, it's yeah, that's 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 a valid statement for sure. But on a lighter name, Pooh, who uh, is your top three? I know there's only 10, so who's your okay. top three queens? So, my top three queens right now, I will definitely have to say, um, number one, D Delicious for sure. Drag. I think that I think that she's giving she's giving drag. I think that Tamara Thomas is right up there as well, and I think that Caramel. I think that's my, top, that's my top three. That's exactly who I was thinking too. Like those are just my three standouts. They're just like, and I think I, I'm obsessed with Tamara Thomas because she looks like a fashion bitchy girl. But if you watch her mm -hmm. meet the queen. She's so personable. That's what I love about these fucking UK girls. And I love that Rue loves the UK because there's such a difference with Rue in the other seasons. Like, he loves yeah. the UK. He loves to get down. He loves to act the fool. And I'm excited for the season. I'm excited for tomorrow to take the fucking crown. 
No, I actually agree with you. I feel like with when it comes to RuPaul and Drag Race UK, he kind of still feels like it's in its baby stages. So, like, he's still having fun with it. Whereas, like, when it comes to Drag Race, regular Drag Race, like, I feel like it's so routine for him oh, that he's like, is. you know, like, I go in, I shoot, I leave. With Drag Race UK, like, Ru Loki, like, lets her hair down and, like, yes. it, she's just having fun, which, and, and it definitely translates on camera. So, I'm very excited. For Drag viewers, Race. We have fun, too, because we notice, like, with, like you said, with, like, the regular, like, pilot season, it's, like, we know what we're going to get. It's going to yep. drag. With UK, like, Rue just be cutting up with the fucking girls. Yeah. Like, she don't give a fuck. yeah. Ruby <laughs> Cacklin. And I'm just excited because Drag Race Down Under was so bad. Not only did oh we God, not watch... tonight. <laughs> we don't I mean, I don't... I mean... Not, only... <laughs> not only did we not watch because it was so bad, we didn't even <sighs> recap it. Spanky, like, I want to know Spanky's like, how the fuck do you come Reaction. up with such an amazing... Because uh, I will say, Drag Race Down Under Season 2 is one of my top five. Drag the Race cast. Down Under Season 2 is an impeccable, like, season. The cast, the fucking... The top three, the format, the challenges. Mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. it was top tier drag. You got really, like, everything that you needed in the season. Where mm -hmm. this season just felt like it was missing so many things that it felt kind of like the queens weren't connecting, like... The so many filler queens. Um, I feel like storylines were not developed as casting was being as casting decisions were being made. Yeah. Um, I feel like it was a bunch of randoms. I feel like honestly, the entire cast are all like runner ups of runner ups of runner up. Like this, they're alternates. They're, they're, they're all alternates of the alternates. Like yeah. you know, and it's like they just like you said, they feel disconnected. Like, is there no more good girls from Australia, New Zealand, like, like anymore? Like, is is that it? Three like, seas we... three seasons, and we and. And and they and they're dragging you. Did, did we max out? Like was season <laughs> two it? Like because season two was so fucking iconic. Like Hannah so Kong, King Kong, like fucking spanky motherfucking Jackson in the house. Like down under, stand up. You're getting dragged. <laughs> Please, like, like wake up, wake we up, need, Pearl, wake up. We, we need some queens to come to the front lines and defend down <laughs> under in in the world stage because right now, babe. You're balding. Right now we got Gabrielle Labucci <laughs> defending your fucking your your please, world. Please, babe, like please do something for yourself. Um, with that said, thank you so much for listening for another episode of the Tug. We're officially back. Our summer hiatus is off. Yay! Thank God. Thank God. Um, so make sure to subscribe to our podcast because we will be here again weekly with brand new episodes all the time. We have sister talks coming up. We're recording that on Sunday. We're going to get into what we did this summer and everything in between the last time we potted to, you know, now, September. Um, we have, like we said, Drag Race the, uh, Drag Race UK Season 5 coming up. We're going to be recapping that. Um, we also, of course, we're going to start our Untucked interviews again. So we have a lot of cool shit and content coming up. So make sure that you subscribe and you follow us on Instagram and Twitter at The Talk Podcast. And that's on period. And that's on period. I'll see you next week. I'll be here being queer. Bye, sisters. Oh, also, P.S. Edward... We have to continue without Edward. <laughs> he sends love from afar. Yeah, he says he loves you all to all of the sisters listening. He loves you. He loves you. Um, but yeah, the Wi-Fi was not paid, honey. So the glove Pink didn't too coming out. <laughs> the last time I that. saw you, let's sing the last time I saw you for the last time we saw Edward. Okay, bye. See you next week. <laughs>